we've already done the small bolts to 89 inch pounds all the larger ones are 18 foot pounds there's no particular order as far as I know Back through them again. Alright, we've already got the outside seal done, cleaned out the groove. Uh, a little residue left in there. Let's get these seals out of here. Figure out how we're going to get underneath them. Oh. Lovely. Those aren't exactly uh, all the most pliable anymore. under it and lift up. A little bit of a bite right into the gasket itself and lift up. There we go. Alright, so now I got all of these hard ones out. In there again with right clean. And we'll just give a little, little, little a light scrub in there. down on the outside again I already went and did it all the way around the head where the gasket's going to meet up and it's a good thing I did because it was a painted surface and the gasket would have stuck to the paint, peeled up and started leaking all over the place. So, if you're doing this kind of a job, just consider these things. I'm going to go dump this into my bucket of yuck. Now, get back in here and dry it up some. Out. Well, 
we all know you got a good clean groove when you look down inside there and there's no shiny staring back at you. Same thing with spark plug two holes. All the way around the inside of those, get those good and cleaned. Ow, that hurt. Under an engine hoist probably isn't such a smart idea, I guess, but I'll probably do it again. This one's not doing a very good job at all. Good to go. Start putting down the new gasket. Not hit my head on the engine hoist again. Now, usually you'll find some kind of a, an indent or a marking somewhere on the the gasket. And right here, there's a little square tab. That square tab is going to locate right here. Or in this case, it is not. It's probably going to locate right there. Let's try this. Oh, not the right spot. Do we have any others? One, two. I don't want to see the two. Hmm. There's a band, there's a band. Now here's the back side. This goes down here. That's going to go right there. So not just going to go right there. This is getting a little strange. This one shouldn't leak. It's got a nice, nice positive fit to it. Make 
sure that gasket isn't rolling anywhere like it started to do right there. Get the little reference notch. Make sure that it is all the way down in the groove, all the way around, like right here it is not. Anywhere that it's not down in perfectly, it's going to press itself back up. And then it'll lay down it's crooked when you set the cover down. And then that'll cause problems. Now let's get these spark plug tubes in. Tube seals. Probably have to go back around them a couple of times because if they're not all the way down in, they will start creeping back up and out on you. While they're sitting here getting ready to do whatever they're going to do, I'm going to start cleaning these all up again, degreasing them. ready to set the valve cover on top of the engine. Now, we are not going to be fastening this down because we're going to be pouring oil all over everything in here when we're all set and ready to close this up. So for the time being we're just going to set this in place. Now we start putting all of our little rubber seals down in. This whole bag of these.
bag is probably set up for a six cylinder because they got two extras. And then all of these, a the little captured piece, which is going to pull all the old silicone ones off. Wow, some of these are a little hard to get off. A little spritz of silicone silicone lubricant on the uh, pieces that are currently on the valve cover make these slide right down into them I don't think we're there yet because we still gotta pour all of that oil down on there yet Five point seven quarts, I believe, is what the capacity was. We're going to have to replace all of these uh, O-ring on the uh, fuel injectors as well. They're all hardened up. What we'll do now is just lift up on the cover, snap these bolts down in. Silicone really wasn't necessary. Let's go right down in actually quite easily. Somewhere along the lines, I lost one bolt. Missed it right there. Oh, there it is. Howdy. There we go. Clean up in here a little bit more later too. I'm going to do the oil fill. Uh, let's see what else we need to do. We're going to need to tighten these down and put some silicone on them. And then we need to pull the oil valley screws out and start injecting some oil. And we've replaced all of the O rings on the fuel injectors. Now we're going to put the fuel rail back down in. We're going to take paper towels out of the fuel injection ports. Come on. Didn't stuff you in there that hard. Or did I? Not bad enough that the tool that I use for pulsing the injectors, a little injector pulsing tool, went and uh, touched ground on me and burnt out. There's a hundred bucks down the drain. That just blows. Alright. Now they're all open. 
opened up. And we're going to put the fuel injectors in. Alright, I got a can of heavy duty silicone. No, I'm not spraying it on the engine. I'm spraying it on my finger. Just enough. Do that to the O-rings, and that's it. Now we can take these. I'm so close to putting this engine back in, and yet these last little things are starting to really get on my nerves. You know, when I start burning out my tools, that's when I start getting upset. Hundred dollar pulser from AES. It's an OTC, I believe. And I went and burned out. There are two leads on it. One of them touched the ground and it fried the pulser. So now we'll go ahead and slide these down in. They're already there. Okay. And drop our bolts back in. These get tightened down to 89 foot or 89 inch pounds. centered as you can get it and then tighten down one bolt oh uh, this doesn't make a lot of sense but we'll figure it out okay, I gotta take these three bolts out first see nothing's going right I gotta Trying to not lose stuff, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Burning stuff out. 